Um, now, just staying with fish food for a little bit longer, I mean, I know, I, I'm sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I've heard you say before that we should be feeding fish as much as they're eating, about two or three minutes. Um, yeah. Does that stay the same in winter or should we, will they take longer to eat that food, I think? That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. You know, with the wheat germ food in winter, we've really got to be following the lead of the fish, really. Um, and sort of moving to, you know, this feed two to three minutes, as much as they'll eat in two to three minutes, two to three times a day, is a way of sort of trying to get uh, a maintenance ration going into the fish. I um, mean, in an ideal world, we'd say feed the fish at one and a half percent of their body weight per day. Um, but nobody could do that. <laughs> so we need a nice sort of um, easily gaugeable amount of food. And this idea of as much as they'll eat in two to three minutes, two to three times a day is what we'd want going into them in summer when they're growing when they're active as we get into winter they're just not going to be needing as much as that remember the other said that there's the temperature declines by 10 degrees c the metabolic rate halves that's the amount of food the mass of food that the fish need has halved as well um, so we're just not going to be feeding as much but then we couldn't just say well then feed as much as they'll eat in sort of you know um half a minute you know, once a day type thing. You couldn't just halve that feeding rate because some fish might want more and some fish might want less. So it's about sort of going out and feeding them at lib, really, off seeing when the fish are active and when do they want some food. And if they don't want it, they're not going to eat it. Um, but if they've been slowly adjusted, their diet's been slowly adjusted onto wheat germ food and they're taking that wheat germ food, you should find that the fish will still keep feeding right throughout the winter. You might even end up you know, with a hole in the ice and the fish can still be coming up to take some food through the ice. I was reading a paper last night that was reporting about the the seasonal feeding in um, fish on on a fish farm in Poland and carp there were still feeding down at um, four degrees. See, you know, still feeding as in there was still commercial pellets, blood worms and daphnia were found in the intestines of of, of those fish and they were were full. Um, So, this myth that the fish aren't feeding in cold water is is utterly incorrect. They're going yeah. to be feeding on what's available. What this paper that I was reading was saying that something, though temperature was having less of an effect on whether the fish fed or not, it was the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water. And if the fish were in an area of a pond that was then very low in oxygen, it was the cold water and the lack of oxygen that would then switch off the feeding response of the fish. And that makes much more sense because if you're digesting that food, you're going to need some oxygen to do that. And in the absence of oxygen, then it pays to not feed. And it was the the oxygen that was meaning that fish didn't feed rather than the the cold temperature. And our ponds, we shouldn't be in a state situation where they're really low in oxygen anyway. 